That's one of the weird things about the moon. There's many, 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 many strange things about the moon. And one of them is that it is both 400 times smaller than the sun and 400 times closer than it. So that when we have these eclipses, they're exactly the same size in the sky from Earth. That's insane. It is insane. There, there's a lot of insanity about the moon. We've never, ever, ever observed another sort of planet moon relationship like we have with our moon. And mm. the fact of the matter is life wouldn't exist on this planet without the moon there, without the moon creating intertidal zone. There's all sorts of anomalies about the moon itself. It's, you know, it's 25% the size of the earth, but about I think four or 5% its mass. So it's vastly lighter and yet stronger at the same time too. There's a really strange yes, dynamic. Yes, stronger? It's stronger, yeah. So it's like, it should be deforming at a different rate based on its density and the gravitational pull that's exerted on it by the planet. In fact, there's all these gravitational anomalies on the moon. We've detected like gra different levels of gravity in different places. What is interesting about the moon is that because there's no atmosphere, we can see the craters that are on it. Some of the craters are massive, like they're like 400 kilometers across. Right. But they only ever go to a certain depth. They only ever go like, I think it's a couple of kilometers deep. But there's this really interesting study on the crater depths. No matter the size of the crater, it only ever goes in so deep. Yeah, the, the thing about the moon is insane. Join us Saturday 21st at 8.30 p.m. for the U.S. premiere of the extraordinary new Atlantis documentary, Atlantica by Michael Donilon. Real data, real structures, real discoveries, and an astounding conclusion.